there will be a wounded child or an adapted adolescent every time we get triggered. Or a little bit of a combination of both because we have many parts to ourselves. We just don't have, we haven't learned the skills in school to be able to navigate when that happens, we get flooded, our autonomic state regresses back and we turn eight years old, six years old, or however old you feel. And when you are in an avoidant attachment, like I was, our work in avoidant attachment is to lean into co-regulation. Your work as an anxious attached type of person is to lean into self-regulation learning how to integrate these shadows that have popped up that have been triggered which shadows your adapted adolescent and your wounded child and so becoming trigger proof is the art of identifying what's come up for you um, and being able to drop in and release emotions you've been stuffing away from years look at how and, and observe all of the efforts you make to try to avoid feeling these things. And that just makes us more anxious. And the answer is to go into the burning building and you're not gonna wanna do it. There is no quick shortcut answer to your question. Everybody wants that quick fix, right? Whereas healing our traumas is a slow and steady process. So it's wiser to get a guide, find a community and a guide that walks you through the process of taking what he triggers within you. Because he's also, there's another caveat to this. Not only are you being regressed and there's a transference of a younger self with dad who was maybe dissociated or going through a depression or checked out or maybe mom was, and you're now reliving it. You know, the whole role of a relationship is to help you relive your past so that you can then break that cycle. If we don't learn how to heal with those younger parts of us and show them safety and to resource ourselves and to create secure relationships with ourselves, we then keep repeating these patterns again and again and again.